In this problem, we're being asked, what is the prime factorization of 111? And again, prime factorization is used in math in order to find all the prime numbers within a given number. So we're going to have to try to find all of the prime numbers within 111 by creating a factor tree. So what two numbers could we multiply that are going to give us 111? Well, most of us can't really do this in our head. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to use our divisibility rules in order to find two factors of 111. So we're going to go ahead and start with our divisibility rules for our number 2. What are the divisibility rules of our number 2? Well, have you seen the previous videos? You should know that any number that's even is divisible by 2. So I want us to look at our number 111. In particular, we're going to look at our last digit. And can you guys tell me if 111 is an even or an odd number? Good job. 111 is an odd number because its last digit is a 1. So our divisibility rule of 2 is not going to work for 111. So we're going to move on to our next divisibility rule, which is our divisibility rule for 3, for our number 3. So we know from our rules of, of our number 3 that the sum of any, the sum of all the digits within a number, if it's divisible by 3, that number is divisible by 3. So again, what are the divisibility rules of our number 3? If the sum of all the digits within a number is divisible by 3, then that number is divisible by 3. So we're going to find the sum of all the digits within 111. And let's find the sum of all the digits. Well, that would be 1 plus 1 plus 1, and that's equivalent to 3. Now, is 3 divisible by 3? Yes. 3 is divisible by 3, right? We could divide 3 evenly into 3. So that means that our number 111 is divisible by 3. So let's divide 111 by 3 so we can find our two factors. How many times does 3 go into 11? Good job. 3 times 3 will give us 9, and we're left with a remainder of 2, since 3 goes a total of 3 times into 11. Now, how many times does 3 go into 21? Well, 3 goes a total of 7 times into 21, and if we subtract 21, we're left with 0. So we have found two factors of 111. These two factors are 3 and 37. So over here in our factor tree, we're going to go ahead and put 3 and 37, since 3 times 37 will give us 111. Now, I'm going to go ahead and circle my number 3 because this is a prime number. Because it has exactly two factors, right? What are the two factors of 3? Just 1 and 3. We can't multiply any other number in order to get 3 except for 1 and 3. And I'm, I'm, I'm also going to go ahead and circle my 37 because 37 is also a prime number. Because the only two numbers that we can multiply in order to get 37 are 1 and and 37. We can't multiply any other two numbers to get 37. We can multiply 6 times 6, but that's not 37. We can multiply 7 times 5, but that's not 37. This is the closest we'll get. The only two numbers that we can multiply in order to get 37 are 1 and 37. So 37 is a prime number. So using prime factorization, 111 is equivalent to 3 times 37. That is our answer.